All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to my channel, Citizen Cycle, where I try to give you the average citizen's perspective on e-bikes and also e-bike accessories and parts and things. And I have an extra special treat for you today because my sister and also my brother-in-law were in town to visit my little one, my little girl. They hadn't seen her yet, so they came to visit for Easter. And of course, I had to take them out and let them try all of the e-bikes. I took all of the e-bikes out of the garages and sheds and trailers and let them test them all. So. I have for you today a couple clips of you know their overall first impressions because neither one of them had ever seen or even been on an e-bike before so you get to see some first-hand experience of uh, you know people trying e-bikes for the first time and what they think of it and what stands out to them because everybody's different what they pick up on on these e-bikes if it's the seating position or the power or whatever it might be they all have different opinions when they get them on the first time and uh, you'll get to see some of that today so here are some clips of them out riding all these different e-bikes. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> I think he likes it. I think it moves. What do you think? Surprisingly uh, comfortable and easy to ride. Yeah? First time on e-bike, right? I've never picked up an e-bike before in my life. It's pretty easy to figure it out, too. It is. I haven't been on a bike in 20 years. Our last time I rode a bike was a motorcycle. He started on a on a fast one. This is 1500 peak watt. <laughs> the one she's on is only 750. So I hit at least like 25. Half of this. I hit at least 25 when I was coming up the hill. Yeah, I like this one. That, that one's really it's really stretched out too, though, with the handlebars yeah. out. It reminds me more of like a mountain bike when I'm used to like the last bike I have was a mountain bike. What do we think? Where were these bikes when I had all them hills? Right? Exactly, riding around day. at school. Right? That's huge hills. I didn't even, I like, I went into like three and I wouldn't have even had to pedal. It's nice. I do feel like I'm sliding though off the seat. It could be the seat's angled wrong. Yeah. I mean. It feels like I, I want to like sit way further back on. How, what, how tall are you? 5'3", five, 5'4"? Five, like five, five, it's a good size. Like I don't feel like it's going to like get away from me. What do you think? Would you spend the money for one of these? It's like 1500 bucks. By the time, in a green way. Oh, right here? Yeah. yeah. In a second? Like in a second. I It'd be nice really right here. It's nice. I want to try the other one. Which one? Which one? Uh, the one that like, the one that she got, the cheap one. I just want to okay. try the cheapy one. Alright. I want to see the difference in like performance here. He's hooked on that one. That one's quick. If you get a good mountain bike, they can be pricey. Oh yeah, you can spend just as much on a yeah. regular bicycle as you can on these. I like it. I would just need to do some seat adjustment, that's for sure. I like her little basket that she has. Everybody loves the basket. <laughs> I would link it in the description, but it's never available on Amazon anymore. I think yeah. we got the last one ever. My phone. I got my, my phone in the <laughs> Go ahead and try to get on that one. That one does have a suspension seat post on it, so it's up a little bit higher than it normally would be. Yeah, but still, look. Still, yeah. That's why I try it's, to explain it's to people. Like a monstrosity. Right? These bikes are enormous. Yeah. Here you see this a. Would be, I, would be, I would be scared riding this. Like, the tires are too scared. big. Like, really? It's like too much for me to handle. Yep, if you're five foot three or four, this is what you'd look like on one of these Hemiway bikes. Just keep that in mind. <laughs> you almost fall off it. That was, that was, that was a nice ride. That was a good one. Yeah, I hit 30 coming around that bend down there. <laughs> 30. On the, the death corner you hit? On the 30? death corner, yeah. Oh, God. This one just seems to me like I like that more where you're actually leaning over. This one I'm more, you'd be more. Yeah, that one's more cruiserish. Yeah, you're sitting more up. Like I like. Yeah, you got the long enough arms to reach that one. Yeah, and it's very comfortable. Reach for like you're like you're riding or like racing. So the blue one's kind of a slightly less powerful version of this white one you were just on. Okay. I but it's still very fast. I love the look of that blue. Gentlemen, yeah, this one sits more up like this one. Does it? I can feel it right away. Like it's. This one. I just I love the look of it. 
People love that blue like, Syrah. I do. I like, I like the blue. The, the color scheme is really nice. They offer red, yellow, white, blue. A bunch of different choices. Oh, you can angle these down though. Oh yeah, fully adjustable handles. So you could adjust them. You could stretch them out, yeah. That one doesn't have it over there. Yeah, that one's a single. You might film. Would you film this one now? Mm, she'd, that'd be tough for her. It's, You're still. It's Go ahead, try it. It's just too these 26 by 4 fat tire bikes man they are not meant for people that are five foot three you can lower the seat put it all the way down <laughs> there you go that's all you get that's it that's all the further it goes i mean i could get on it you could ride it if you're i could ride it athletic nimble five foot four person you can ride these but it's just not ideal i don't think it's I don't know. I feel like it's just very lost for me. Yeah. I can barely touch the ground. So like if I lose it. Or if you have to stop, car's coming, you have to pull stop, it stop. Yeah, car coming or something like that. I can't easily touch the ground. I'd have to like jump off. It's just kind of um bulky is what it is for me. It's just too big. They don't make male and female versions of these. No, well, they really should. They should make ones that are made for a female. Well, what they really need to do is, is start making them with 24-inch tires. Yeah. Instead of 26. Yeah. It'd be much more manageable for you. That extra couple inches. It really does make a difference. Because hmm. I would buy this based on color alone. Well, I mean, hey, there's a balloon right there. It's got 24-inch wheels on it, so go try that one. Yeah. Ultimate Dick Sporting Goods. <laughs> yeah, you got quite a selection here at the Citizen Cycle Shop. This one I can like, I move the seat down. The KBO, I, I don't know if you would, this handlebars are so far the out from handlebars are, I feel like I'm like Because they've got that extension here. on the, yeah. they come way out. It's a little, it's a, re, a little bit of a reach. Did you fit on the bike tricks? Fit. Maybe if the seat would. If the seat would move down, I yeah. might. Move. I have it rigged for the kid rack right now and I can't move it, so. The seat is like a little too high for me to feel comfortable. I like the the loop of the uh, handlebars. It's yeah. very comfortable like this, like uh -huh. this very comfortable ride. Yep. If the seat would go down like one more inch. Well, so it will, it it'll go perfect. down like another four inches. So this would actually this work for you. This would probably be a really good bike for me. So there it you go. It doesn't feel too bulky. E-bike companies, if you're listening, make 24 inch. Yeah fat tire bikes yeah <laughs> not i like the fat tire of it you'll sell a hundred more a yeah, month for real it's a nice color and i love i do like this a lot it's more comfortable than the rad the step through that i rode yeah well i've had a the rad mini it's an okay bike i don't mind riding it but the beanstalk style handlebars that come way up and you can't yeah. move them any further it's down like, it's very weird i don't know why they riding it weird but this, do that yeah these are very comfortable like I could just sit here on this bike and like pedal and coast and be comfortable. The mini, I felt like I was sliding off and like my hands were a little higher. This is a nice one. Yeah. What's this one? That is a Bike Tricks Stunner X. Yeah. Meant to be it has a, a really uh, nice seat too. Like that's seat. I aftermarket seat I put that on. It's really good. It matches yeah. perfectly. Yeah, that's why I got it because it matches the blue and like, it's it so squishy. It matches perfectly. Squishy. It's so nice. It's like memory foam in there. <laughs> it's like a plush jelly. I could seat. ride that one for like miles. How How's that one? Down. What? what? Don't like it. You don't like that one? No. Why not? Too tight. What's everything, too tight? I'm, everything's in here is too tight, like my legs. Oh, you're too. And my arms. That one where I'm spread out more of my legs. I'm like, I'm riding, everything's all up tight. Well, this one does adjust again. You know, you could stretch so it out another could, inch or so. So I could go down. And it you, doesn't look like, like you got the seat high enough for you. That could be. Yeah, maybe if that you That definitely could be. If, yeah, to, you look scrunched up on it. This one's this not. I this one's like not. like smacking my leg. You know what I mean? Let me see where the seat is on that. The seat can go back can another it? inch that way or two. Maybe that's what the. Yeah. This one's definitely more comfortable. Yeah. The seat was much, much more comfortable. That's probably. The seat was comfortable and. I thought that one. I thought this just. You like felt, that the best? Yeah. That yeah, felt most natural. Hmm. Yeah, that one's more 
off roady kind of yeah go out and rip it through the woods these yeah, are cruiser that one style still looks like yeah. a mountain bike type thing to me too. yeah you try that one which one this one I, I like the look of those too. You, yeah, you haven't tried a Hemi, but try this one. The battery's in it, you're good to go. Oh yeah, I haven't did one. <clears throat> oh, you got a bunch of Hemi I got three Hemi ways. There's the little one right there. It's all ready to go. It's charged. Okay. There you go. You found one that's just your size. That's right. Goldilocks and your gold coat. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I feel a little weird. I feel like I'm riding one of those scooters that people have a broken foot. And they scoot around. It is fast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, they're having too much fun. You're shocked at that little bike, right? That's how fast this thing is. For a $300 Costco bike. Yes. This is fun. For 300 bucks? Oh my gosh. The Jetson has never failed to amaze me. Right? How much do you pay for this? $300. Yeah. This is fun for 300 bucks. It has like pickup. <laughs> like I'm shocked. I thought it was going to be like a little ding -a ding. No. It's it's fun. Shine, you got to get on this little thing. <laughs> oh, Seriously. See this. That's a good test. Canada. Six foot two, 200 plus pound person ride, the Jetson Bolt. <laughs> what do you think of the Hemiway? It seemed like it took off quick, uh, quicker than the other one. Quicker than the Cy Rusher? Yeah. The Hemiway is powerful. It was. It's powerful. I like that. I still I still like the the weight, Cy Rusher the best. The 800, Cy Rusher 800. Yeah. This, is this was so nice, this was comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, I think this one just looks sharp. I like the frame design. Yeah, I do too. The white with the wood looks nice on the back. All right, Come well, we it. can load the Jetson in your car for you to take this home. This is so fun. You should try. You should try this one. Like, it's very comfortable. It's so small. I would love to see what you look like on it, though, because you don't have to like fix the seat. The seat does not go up very high. I mean, it awesome? might go up another inch. Too. You'll see the end of the like, post. This for me is like moving a motorcycle. This is Chris Farley <laughs> reenacting Tommy Boy. <laughs> Big guy on yeah. a little bike. <laughs> don't. don't He's gonna wreck, wreck, wreck that. It. He's gonna wreck it. I don't think he realizes how quick it's it. It turns real quick it with the really small wheels. Does. Yes. I'm gonna make it. All right, so everybody's got their pick. Sister, citizen sister, takes the Jetson Bolt. <laughs> Number one spot, blue ribbon, right here. It is. If I could get on that one over there, though, I think I'd really like that one. The bike trick stunner. Yeah. You couldn't, you couldn't fill now. Uh, I have the seat go down like a rigged little for the kids' seat, so I can't uh, put it down. Okay, yeah. yeah. I think I would go with that one because the handlebars are real nice on that. And it's just comfortable. What's your pick, Sean? This one first. First place, ribbon. Second. And then Close. Hemiway Cruiser. I mean, it was, that was a nice ride, too. That was Papa's pick. Papa Citizen, he liked this yeah. white Hemiway the best. I like that, that style better. Well, that's based on ergonomics, right? Yeah. yeah. Stretching I like out the, of this the thing. style better. The rides were very similar. Yeah, they have pretty equivalent power. What did, were you expecting? What was different? I was not expecting that. I wasn't expecting it. I was expecting it to ride harder, be a harder ride. Harder to pedal? Harder to pedal, just harder, harder to everything. Steer, run, everything. Uh, it was surprisingly fast. When you got when you got on it and you were moving, you looked down how fast you're going. It didn't seem like you were going as fast, but you're you know you're moving going yeah, 30 miles an hour. You're cooking on these. And how fast you got up going. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed watching those little clips of first-time e-bikers and their impressions and what they noticed about these bikes. I had a lot of fun making it and watching them ride it and experience it for the first time. I know they had a blast riding them. 
my brother-in-law and I went out the next day for another hour riding because he enjoyed it so much. And uh, it, it was interesting to see what they pick up on. For my sister, it was a lot to do with which bikes that she could get on comfortably. She's short. She's like five foot three, five foot four, somewhere in there. And really the only two that she could ride were the Rad Mini and then also the Jetson bike, which that bike is just hilarious. The $300 Costco bike is just, it's impressive, honestly, for 300 bucks. So check that one out. But uh, the Rad Mini, she was able to get on that and ride that, but ultimately just didn't really like that one as much just because of the seating position on it. Um, it's that Rad bike. I don't know why Rad does this, the handlebars. They've got those beanstalk style tall handlebars and they just, they don't work right for short people. I don't know why there's no adjustment. You can't lower them at all. So when you put the seat the whole way down and the handlebars are way tall, you're, you know, you end up riding like you're riding an ape hanger handlebars on your motorcycle. Your hands are way up high. So I don't know why they need to fix that about that bike for sure. Ultimately, uh, she liked riding on the jets in the best, which is hilarious. Um, so in the escape bike, we did have her sit on the escape bike, the moped style one. And it's, it's just such a big, heavy bike. It's 91 pounds and it's still just a touch too, too tall for her. So, um, yeah, she was all about like, what bike can I get on? So that's something to keep note of. If you're looking at buying any bike, doing some research, can you get on it? They are huge. I don't know how many times they said to me, these bikes are enormous. I had no idea they were this big. And that is the main thing that people don't realize when you're looking at these online, these bikes are huge. Okay. The 26 by four tires. I mean, forget it. My sister could not even get on any of those bikes at all. She really liked that one right there, that blue side rusher, and she couldn't even get on it at all. So she was disappointed in that. That was her favorite when she, when I sent pictures and she watches my videos, but seeing it in person, she, it was a wake up call. Like, holy cow, this thing is ginormous. Uh, as, as far as my brother-in-law goes, his uh, impressions were, he, he really focused on the ergonomics of the bikes. And the one that felt most comfortable for him was this right here, the Cyrusher XF800. This is a full suspension bike, 1500 peak watts. So plenty of power to get him around. And he's a bigger guy, so big guy. And uh, probably six foot two, you know, over 215, 220-ish range maybe for weight. So bigger guy and this was a bike that had him stretched out a lot further the handlebars jut out and it's a very aggressive mountain bike you kind of lean over further on the bike and it, the bike itself is a little bit longer as well so it, it just had him more comfortable kind of stretched out so that that was his favorite he hands down he liked that one the best i think he is gunning for me to send him that one someday maybe maybe so that was by far his best he he really wanted one that fit his uh, his height, actually, in weight. So again, it's it's the fitment issue that keeps arising with these bikes. They all have enough power to get you around. Uh, that's not really a, a concern, I think, for first-time e-bikers. Uh, even the 750 Rads, I mean, they're not very powerful, but they'll get you around just fine. So there you go. Um, hope you liked <laughs> the uh, the short clips. It was, like I said, it was a lot of fun. Um, if you're researching e-bikes, check through some of my playlists. I have comparison videos on a bunch of different e-bikes um, and review videos on a bunch as well. I have a playlist for reviews and comparisons. Check it out. You might find some information on a bike you're looking at. I've done Cyrushers and Hemiways and Rads and all kinds of different bikes, KBOs, bike tricks. They're all in there. So check out the playlist. You might find some good information in there. And uh, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching.